hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so i am using the oneplus 9 rt which has the powerful snapdragon 888 processor which comes with the adreno 660 gpu but what if you double the power of the gpu by updating its old drivers my device is on android 11 with the old gpu OpenGL drivers version 3.2 at the rate 530 you can use the hardware info application from the play store to check these details also use the Hulkan hardware capability viewer application from the Play Store to check the Hulkan drivers version. It's currently on 512.530 version in my device. I updated these drivers and ran the 3D mark test and here are the results. For one of its tests is given the max out result which is amazing. Obviously this test was on old OpenGL version 3.1 but even in the different test of the Geekbench test it's max out the results. So definitely it's worth to upgrade these drivers. Any device with the Snapdragon triplet sock will use this drivers given in a video. So if you are interested in this, watch the video till the end for the installation with the full comparison of the new and the old drivers. Now without further ado, let's get started. Remember you must be rooted with the magics on your device if you are using the 9RT link is given in right side card for the root and the TWRP. Now download this zip file link is given under the video description and flash it via magics application and then reboot your phone. Once you reboot you can check that whether your drivers properly installed or not. To check that go to the device info application and under the sock tab you can see the OpenGL version is now 3.2 at the rate 611. And if you check the Hulkan version in the Hulkan hardware capability application, we can see it's upgraded to version 512.615. So it's time to test the performance difference between the old and the new drivers. I will not play the games to show how these drivers are powerful, but we'll do the worries test on the old and the new drivers. So watch the video till the end. I first ran the Geekbench test on the new updated OpenGL drivers and I got 4825. Later I had done the same Geekbench test on the Vulcan drivers and I got 4323. So it's time to do the test on the old drivers so I removed the Magix module via the Magix application and rebooted the phone. If you don't like these drivers you can remove them via the Magix application anytime as shown in the video. After reboot I again check whether old drivers got back or not via both the application that we used at the start of the video. Now after the confirmation I first ran the Geekbench test in the OpenGL drivers and this time the results were lower, it's only 4323. Later I switched to the Hulkan drivers and ran the test and it's very low 3026. It's maybe due to the raised device temperature. So because of doubt, I again installed the new drivers via Magix module and again ran the test for the surety. Is the new drivers working properly or not? This time on the OpenGL drivers I got 4705 and in the Vulcan drivers test I got 4568. So it's sure that the new drivers really giving the awesome results as compared to the old drivers. Later I done the 3D mark test on the new drivers. This test will give the heavy intensive graphics with the different frame rates and gives us the original performance result of GPU drivers. First I ran the slang shot extreme test on the OpenGL 3.1 as there is no option to set the OpenGL 3.2. Here I got the max out performance which is because of amazing performance of the new drivers. Next I ran the wildlife test for the 1 minute and I got 4 at 3. After that I ran the wildlife extreme test for the 1 minute on the heavy frame rates and here I got 1350. Now I removed the magics module and downgraded the drivers to the old version and ran all the tests again. In the first slang shot extreme test I got 5622 which is lower than the max out results on the new drivers. In the next wildlife test I got 4660 which is again lower than the new drivers where we got the 4 at 3. At last I ran the wildlife extreme test for the 1 minute and I got 1100 which is similarly lower than the results given by the new drivers where you got 1350. So it's clear that the new drivers are drastically improving the graphics performance of the device. If you think these performance testing applications has no real life evidence of performance improvement. But remember 3D Mark Wildlife Gamer test is using the high graphics mode to test the performance of the device. So if you are playing the heavy graphics games like the Genshin Impact, PGMI, Modern Combat, you will definitely feel the smoothness with the new drivers. They all will just glide on your fingertips with the heavy response rate and the constant frame rate. This is all about the new GPU drivers for the Snapdragon 888. If you think I help you through this video, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.